Hi everyone, Vincent O here. This video is a quick guide to the day 4 assignment file. Now again, all you need to do is to input your answers in the yellow cells. For during answering the questions, all right, you don't have to change the structure by adding any columns or rows into the file. Yeah? So I open up two files over here. On the left side, okay, on the left side, is the assignment file itself and on the right side over here i've opened up file number one the file that we did and covered in the first day of the training here i open up this file as you know because it's the relevant file relevant file to refer to in answering the day number four assignment okay day four assignment Test us in a few things only. It's, it tests us in our usage in applying the VLOOKUP function. Uh, it tests us, now I wouldn't say this is a test because it's too simple. It prompts us to apply um, a few mathematical formulas without the function. Yes, it's that simple actually. And also, it tests us on our analytical skills. What analytical skills are we talking about? The data that is in the assignment, actually. Now, all you got to do, right, guys, is to take a look at the data before answering the question. You know, the data has a date, right? Okay, quite obvious. It's from for the whole month of uh, September. And then this data con concerning COVID-19. The totals here are cumulative. Now, please do take a good look. It is cumulative, right? So, uh, there's no analysis work, but you just need to open up uh, and take a quick, close look. Okay. Now, first question. Total number of cases as at month end using VLOOKUP. So, VLOOKUP formula, refer to this one okay now if you revisit right the file number one there eh, is clearly the, the answer is actually clearly on this step which is this formula when you apply we look up all you need to remember is left to right and you need to specify the column number of your target column all right so coming back to this example, right? Total number of cases as in one end, where is the one end column? It's actually here. Right? Each part here. So where is total number of cases? I'm gonna scroll. So it's the last row, right? It's row number 10. Now I'm actually directly giving you the answer. All you gotta do is to derive uh the answer on the last cell, which is right here yeah, you need to know what is column number one so i'm giving you the answer right here next one percentage of total recovered over number of cases is a straightforward division formula now what divide over what is very clear yeah so total number of cases recovered sorry total number Percentage of total recovered over total cases. Now, the answer is in two of these rows over here. Okay. Take a close look here yeah, on what it is. So, very simple. Five marks. The first one is 10. Next one. Total number for this category. What category? We are talking about this category. So that category is actually here, All right? And what's the total number? The requirement here is to not to type in, not to use a simple equal sign, but to use a function. Okay. So I think you know what's the answer, right? When you use a function, right? So guys, please don't get this wrong, yeah, because this is straightforward. Uh, 
questions yeah all you need to do is to know the column number where your target is all right the next one we have 75 points for this it's about creating a proper graph for current cases deaths recovered cases and total cases and total recovered proper graph now what's a proper graph uh, that will show your data for the entire month so select that graph and select the correct column that your graph will be basing it on that uh, column yeah so select the, all you need to do is again right this question right actually takes a look at how you take a step back uh, and look at your data and, and apply you know because technically right the answers are simple it's just about the analysis which is also very simple yeah okay so take a look back at your day four assignment after looking at this video and if you're not sure please do send me an email okay that's all thank you bye bye